Hey guys, Garrett here from iOS Pro. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to access the hidden internal game center app on iOS 16 today. See, this is the hidden internal game center app. I want to show you guys how to access, but I also show you how to do it on iOS 15 as well. But this is mostly an iOS 16 feature. So let's get started. So in order to access the internal game center app on iOS 16 is, first thing is, make sure you have the right game controller for us to work, which is the Nimbus Plus game controller. This is because not many controllers that are compatible with iOS have this home button right here. So the PS5, I think, the Xbox controllers don't have this button, but the Nimbus Plus does. You need this button in order to access the internal game center app on iOS 16. Okay, so next thing is, Make sure you paired your game controller like I did, Nimbus Plus, and make sure you're on the latest iOS 16 beta. All right, so all you have to do now is double click the home button like this. One, two, and just like that, the internal game center app opens just like that. They may have removed the app, but they didn't remove the internal game center software, which you can still access on iOS 16. It's really cool. So now does the, the click the home button and go that, just like that. I'll do it again, one, two, and it opens up just like that. But I do want to show you guys that, di that this does work on devices with no iCloud. So what I'm going to do now is use my iPhone XR, which has no iCloud enabled. Sorry, let me turn down my brightness here. All right, so let me see. I don't have iCloud enabled in this device. See, iCloud off. So let me just turn off my dark mode here. All right, so then go to Bluetooth. Click the game controller like I'm going to do here. Give it a second here. Just like that's connected. Now I do the same thing. One, two. And just like that, my game center opens. Just like that. It says, Welcome to Game Center. So, Game Center is an internal app now, not a visible home screen app like the magnifier is or the other apps. So, I'll do it again. One, two. Just like that, I can access Game Center just like that. So, this works best if you're on iOS 16. So, I'll open up my main phone here, pair my, contro hook my controller up, which is down here. It's connected, so one, two, just like that. The internal game center app opens, just like that. All right, so now if you want to do this on iOS 15, I'll show you guys how to do that, but iOS 15 is much more difficult than iOS 16 because when I go into my settings here, pair up my Nimbus Plus and my iPod Touch 7, sorry about that, one, two, you see, it doesn't work. You have to go into a game which already has game center enabled, like Subway Surfers. So it'll take a minute to load, so I'll come back when it's done loading. Okay guys, the so Subway Surfers has finished loading. So I have to re-enable the game center every single time. See, disconnect, connect. Okay, it's connected. Now, one, two. You see, now I can access games that are on iOS 15. But it will only work if you're in the game you have Game Center designed into. But you have to re-enable Game Center every single time for that to work. You see what I did? If I go out to the home screen here, one, two, you see, it doesn't work. When I go into the game though, one, two, then it works. So that's where I was 15. Now I'll do 16 once again. To show you guys that I was 16, you could access the game center from anywhere basically. So give it a second here. So my game control is now connected. So now when I hit the home button twice, one, two, so you see, on iOS 16 and newer, you can access it from anywhere. And for on iOS 15 or 14, I think, you can only be in the game and after you enable Game Center manually. It's the only way you can do it on iOS 15. But on iOS 16, like I this, it can be accessed from anywhere. So that is basically how you access Game Center on iOS 16. So that's basically it for this video. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. Peace out.